Did you know January is the top month of year for divorces and there's a new law in Michigan aimed at making a split a little more peaceful. Family law attorney Elisa Paskin Shepard from Transitions Legal joining us this morning. Good morning and thank Good you morning. for being here with us. It's great to be here. All right. Why is January the most popular month for divorces? A lot of people think about divorce for quite a while and then all of a sudden the end of the year is coming along but it's also the holidays. People really don't want to split up during the holidays. What they do they want, want one more gift? One more <laughs> gift, one more happy time, one all more right. holiday season with the family being intact. And so then they come to you? Then they come to me if they haven't already seen me already. All right, so there's this, what is this, the new, explain this to me, the Collaborative Law Act. It went into effect last month. Michigan's oh, the 10th state to have it. What does it mean? The Uniform Collaborative Law Act is, um, legitimizes a way that a group of us have been practicing collaborative divorce. Uh -huh. So it's a different way of divorcing that avoids filing with the court. Um, it's um, a more peaceful way to divorce. It um, is a collaborative divorce is a voluntary mm -hmm. um, process. It's a process, right? So basically I come to you, I know it's funny that we're showing all these people getting married and we're talking about divorcing, but uh, <laughs> so we come to you, we want to split. You walk us through a more peaceful process, which includes what, mediation? No, so what we're, it can include mediation, but each party to the divorce retains a collaboratively trained divorce attorney. Mm -hmm. And I call it a team approach to divorce also because we also engage mental health professionals who are specially trained and um, financial people who are specially trained in collaborative divorce. Okay. So you sign a participation agreement and the Uniform Collaborative Law Act actually requires certain provisions be included in your collaborative participation agreement. You say that divorces don't have to be messy, but not everybody plays along. Some divorces are messy. Some divorces are messy and so what the collaborative divorce process does is it keeps people focused on resolution mm -hmm. rather than adversarial conflicts. Good. So it keeps, it also helps, it's really important to remember also that your relationship with your ex-spouse is going to continue after the divorce, especially mm -hmm. if you have children. Collaborative divorce process allows people to maintain a more positive post-divorce relationship. Is this something that you do specifically or do all divorce attorneys practice this? Not all divorce attorneys practice it because you okay. do have to be specially trained. All right. Well, thank you, Elise, for being here with us this morning. Thank you. Of course, interesting information. If you like guidance from Elisa, we'll put that information on our Weekend Mornings page of MyFoxDetroit.com. We'll be right back.